Welcome to the Zen Zone, going to downtown Vegas uh, with Andrew Hahn here. We are cruising down to the strip to kind of uh, show you how much of a ghost town it's become. I'm going to leave on most of the wind noises, maybe not to put too much uh, music in this video. So you can kind of just feel the ambiance. There's the Trump International on the left. Yeah, I want you kind of just to feel this. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, look at this day. There's no clouds. There's no smog. I don't know. That's kind of one of the positive things about people not working, I guess. There's not many vehicles on the road, so there's not as much pollution. It's like the Green New Deal is happening right before us because uh, there's restricted air travel and uh, not as much pollution going up into the air. It looks beautiful. I mean, Vegas, usually the strip, there's a bit of a haze layer, and now the visibility is crazy. You can just see so far, so it makes for some really good content. Uh -huh. Hope you guys enjoy this content. Uh, as far as the news on the V11 E wheels, which I'm working for E wheels, so uh, I, I can tell you some a little bit of inside information. Well, it's not inside anymore because it's public now. But uh, the behold the emptiness. Yes. <laughs> That's the fashion show. Okay. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. I gotta get some 360 shots of this. Yeah, this is so cool. The Jason is working on getting the price down. He's lobbying to get the price down to 1999, which makes it super competitive at that price point. Uh, I made a video about that. I'll be posting that soon if that's something you guys want to see. But you can just go to eWills.com and uh, reserve your V11 right now. It's live on eWills. eWills.com. V11 is now live. $500 deposit down. If it's something you want, I would get a reservation and soon they're already coming in i've already seen a few today in the emails so it, there's a good chance it becomes like the msp and this is the first one with suspension so it kind of caters to off-roaders it's a huge wheel has a great high beam maybe a little bit too great but there's a lot of positives about this wheel and i think for that price point it's worth it the 2300 um was a little bit too much but still i think it's a great wheel i, I definitely think i want to add it to my collection it might be my second wheel just wish it went a little bit faster but uh, it is what it is, and I'm going to be excited about it. It's a new wheel. It's not like the one-wheelers. What are the one-wheelers getting? They're not getting any new wheels. So EUCs, it's cool because at least we're getting different options. Whether you like this option or not, there's an, always something to fit everybody. And it's cool that we're getting some with suspension now, and King Song's going to be putting out theirs with suspension. So lots of exciting news here. Um, man, and then what's Galway going to do? Do you think Galway's just going to sit by while King Song and Emotion put out wheels with with suspension no they're going to come up in my opinion i think they're going to come up with some kind of in innovations of their own what do you guys think you think galway is going to just sit sit back and uh give up market share to king song and in motion they're probably going to watch and see what kind of problems there are and then maybe make a better version galways in my opinion are the best wheels for vegas in my area i've ridden almost all the wheels i don't get me wrong i like king song i like emotion i like all eucs but I'm riding a Nikola and I love it. The speakers, everything about it. Um, it doesn't have suspension or anything like that. So this is all new stuff, man. It is an exciting time to be an EUC rider. I don't know if you guys feel that. Like, because we can kind of go out and solo rides and with all the restrictions and everything that's going on, we can kind of get away with going out and getting, I do all my grocery shopping on my EUC. Uh, you can get away with a lot here, man. Just, I just need to enjoy this scenery here. This is absolutely beautiful footage. I'm using the GoPro Max 360 mode and also mixed in is some uh, just normal GoPro footage. With the GoPro Max, you can go 360 or... That's a really cool shot. You go 360 and do some cool edits like this, or you can just use it as a GoPro and get some HD footage. <laughs> this is so cool. I want to go back down to this trip. Right now, it's super cloudy outside, so I'm getting some videos made. I just made that V11 kind of going through the E-Wheels e website. And... I'm excited, man. It's just an exciting time to be EC rider. I just hope we can get some group rides going with all this stuff that's going on. Can't do it right now. I'm trying to stay in small groups. Uh, there is a handshake in this video. I hope that doesn't happen to anybody. Uh, we'll be safer. You know, this was made a few weeks ago and, you know, before a lot was known. Obviously, you don't want to have handshakes, but we're wearing gloves. So <laughs> hopefully that helps a little bit. But there's one handshake. Uh, Greg, who we're going to meet up with and Taylor Motes. They're not in the video yet. That'll be part two. I'll post uh, part two. It's uh, four of us riding. And Greg just posted up his version of this video, which has some really cool like footage and some voiceover stuff uh, from like newscasters and stuff. And, and you get to see Vegas when it's busy versus not. So it's a, I recommend his channel. There'll be a link to his channel at the end. 
And uh, yeah, so that's where we're going to meet up right now. Decided to switch the road. I like kind of staying on the sidewalks. Not for like, just because it, it creates better footage, not because I'm mean, running the roads pretty good. Although there are quite a few, it's not a perfect road here on the Vegas Strip. I feel like it could be uh, improved quite a bit. Maybe, maybe there'll be some construction done or something like that. Since there isn't a lot of traffic, this would be a good time to kind of fix all the roads and uh, get that done. But it's kind of strange too with this unemployment thing. Like people are getting more on un unemployment checks than they are or we're making. Isn't that crazy? You make more on unemployment than you do at your job. And there's some people that are stuck kind of still doing those jobs, not getting the unemployment like that. My buddy who's networking is making more than me on unemployment. <laughs> it's crazy times we live in. I hope, I hope we move in a positive direction. I hope only positive stuff comes from this. Crossing the street now. Uh, we're almost at the end of the video. Feel free to ask me any questions. My email is zen at ewills.com. I'm helping out with the, the emails. Like I said previously, I'm not so good with the maintenance and tech stuff, but as far as sales go and just simple questions, if you got simple questions, please direct them to me because Jason, oh, there's Taylor on the right. That's pretty sweet how he just shows up like that. Oh yeah, this is where we're gonna meet up to. It's like a super cool spot. Get some good footage of that. But yeah, direct your emails to me if they're easy questions uh, regarding like stock or anything like that. No need to overload Jason. The guy works really, really hard. And I feel like he is doing more for the community than anybody I know. I mean, the fact he's getting the V11 price down by 300 bucks just with his peer uh, negotiating power, I guess, or lobbying or however that entails his connections with InMotion being like, hey, we need this price down $300 and he's fighting for it. And he's fighting for you guys, fighting for the community. So, and of course I'm working to him. So I'm not gonna say anything negative about him because he's doing good things for the community. And if he were, if there were negative things to say, I probably wouldn't say them anyway. So I'm, I'm trying to focus on the positive. On the wheel reviews, it's kind of hard not to point out the negative things, like the high beam on the V11. But overall, I think it's going to be a great wheel. And I, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.